All right, guys, the next type of positioning is absolute positioning. And this allows you to literally place any element where you want it to be. So let me explain with an example how absolute positioning works. So let's create a class for absolute positioning. So dot abs pos just like relative positioning and we use the same property here again so position and this time the value is going to be absolute now let's specify a top let that be 200 pixels or let's give it 50 pixels let's keep it smaller and then from the left it's once again 80 pixels all right now let's create a paragraph tag and we can have let's say this is a paragraph and when you save it and reload it we have at the very top this is a paragraph and we have not quite applied uh, the class yet so let's apply class is equal to abspos and when we save it now check out check it out so this is a paragraph has been shifted 80, 50 pixels from the top and 80 pixels from the left. But this time, it is going to be shifted from the top left corner of your screen. So from the top left, or from the top, it is 150 pixels, and from the left, it is 80 pixels. And unlike the relative positioning, with sh which shifts the position based on its original position, absolute positioning shifts based on the left top corner of your screen. So that is kind of like the origin for absolute positioning. Now you can combine relative and absolute positioning and that can be very helpful. So let's say we have a div tag. Let's let's create a div tag style. So let's give it a position and this time it's relative and let's create a border for it. So a border is two pixels solid black let's give it a height let's let this be 500 pixels and a width which can also be 500 pixels now let's enclose this paragraph within a div tag so div and then the end of this a closing div All right, now observe the change. And when you refresh it, there you go. So what happens with absolute positioning and relative positioning is when you have a, a relative positioning to this div tag and an absolute positioning to this paragraph within the div tag, then the paragraph is going to shift 50 pixels from the top from this particular div tag and not from the top of your screen and 80 pixels from the left from this div tag border and not from the left of, of not from the left of the screen so for example if we move our div tag top let's say 100 pixels and left 100 pixels now when you save it and refresh it there you go the div tag shifted by 100 pixels from its original position so from the left 100 pixels from the top 100 pixels but this is a paragraph is it is going to maintain its distance of 50 pixels and 80 pixels from the border of this div tag and not from the top of the screen or the, of the or from the left of the screen so by combining the div sorry by combining absolute and relative positionings you can have a lot of flexibility with how you position your elements on your web page and they're really really helpful now there's one more type of positioning called fixed positioning and let's see about that in the next video so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and see you later